Hello, dear travelers. Welcome back to Dude on Travel, the place where we make your desire to travel come true. Prepare yourself for an incredible voyage as we explore the enchantment of Florence, Italy, a city where stories of the Renaissance seem to keep going on every cobblestone. Florence is your paradise if your ideal getaway from Europe is taking in the best food, art, and history. Imagine visiting several museums, looking at priceless artwork, enjoying fine wine, and of course, rising to the challenge of increasing your daily step total by 50%. Doesn't it sound like the ideal adventure? Florence, the capital of the gorgeous Tuscany region of Italy, is more than just a location to visit. It is the birth of the Renaissance and a living artwork. The art of Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Leonardo da Vinci keep vibrating throughout this city, calling us to investigate them and embark on a cultural journey. So gather your curiosity and passport and come along with me as we reveal the top 10 things to do, see, and eat in Florence. Start the journey now. Let's begin with number one. You should go directly to the famous Duomo, also known as the Cattedrale di Santa Maria del Fiore, as soon as possible. Since it is the beating heart of Florence, this architectural wonder is a must-see that you just cannot miss. When it was built in the 15th century, the Duomo was the largest church in the world. It's now the third largest in Europe, which, believe me, is still a fairly big church. The true challenge now is to find the bravery to climb the 463 steps to the dome's top. You ask why? Because what's in line for you is an absolutely stunning view. Enjoy an expansive view of Florence's ceramic tiles, rooftop, and waterfall structures from the city's highest point. You won't regret the hike when you see the breathtaking view that opens out in front of you. Put on your shoes, rise to the moment, and let the Duomo create the scene for a really unique Florentine experience. Number two, now for our second destination, head to the ancient Cafe Ghili, a delightful shelter for both pastry and coffee lovers. This establishment, which is situated in an elegant historic setting, is an example to the timeless appeal of enjoying coffee in style. Imagine this the taste of delicious pastries, the smell of freshly prepared coffee, and the comfortable atmosphere of a historic beginning. All of these are waiting for you at Cafe Gili, where history has been made since 1733. This place, which is on the corner of Piazza Repubblica, provides a look into Florence's rich history of doing things the old-fashioned way, in addition to providing a cup of coffee fix. Like the locals have been doing for centuries, take a seat at the marble counter. Here's a pro tip order and pay at the register first, then pick your favorite coffee delight at the bar by showing your receipt. The experience is simply Florentine. Whether you choose for a traditional espresso, also known as un cafe, or a macchiato that includes a hint of steamed milk. Consider the Italian approach to coffee consumption. Take a quick sip while seated at the bar to get the full Cafe Gilly experience. So, at this historic gem, love the flavors of Florence and take part in a moment of improved style. Number three, let's now explore Florence's food offerings at our third must-see location, La Pizza by Romualdo Rizzuti where modernity and tradition combine to create a truly delicious dish. It's almost predictable that you will crave pizza in Italy, and La Pizza does not let you down. Romualdo Rizzuti, situated in a very trendy environment, has turned pizza making into an art form. This spot, which is upstairs in the Mercato Central food court among the foodie stalls, is creating a lot of interest, and for good reason. What is the trick? A dough that rises for 30 hours, providing perfectly cooked classic pizzas like Napoli and Margarita. The twist is that the toppings vary depending on the season, making each visit unique and thrilling. If you're up for the challenge, don't miss the Panuoso, a southern Italian street food sandwich that's toasted in a pizza oven and the classic fried pizza. Imagine the perfect crispy texture served hot and ready to satisfy your taste buds. So La Pizza by Romualdo Rizzuti is the place to go if you're prepared to go on a pizza adventure unlike any other. Enjoy the finest pizza traditions from Italy with a modern day touch. Number four, now let's look into Florence's beautiful leather industry with our fourth suggestion. The leather shops and markets, where each handmade item represents the city's rich tradition of craftsmanship. Famous for its political and artistic past, Florence has long been known for its superb leatherwork, which dates back to the 16th century and is still recognized today. The local markets and shops are your best bet for the best leather products. Each one offers a unique mix of modern style and tradition. The options are as broad as Florence's historical tapestry, which whether you're searching luxurious stores or traveling through the busy San Lorenzo street stalls. Visit the leather school behind the Santa Croce church to witness expertly crafted leather goods for a genuinely genuine experience. 
Are you looking for gloves or a stylish new belt? Look no further than Massimo Leather for classic, elegant jackets or La Pelleteria Artigiana Viviani for handbags that combine modern and traditional design elements. So why walk away? Take in the history of Renaissance leatherwork and bring a bit of Florence's handmade culture with you. Number five, let's explore the cultural treasure that is St. Mark's English Church. An attraction for lovers of vocal music and anyone looking for an English-speaking community on our fifth adventure in Florence. Located within the remains of an ancient Medici mansion, St. Mark's English Church is one of the best locations to experience the breathtaking glory of Anglican Mass, which is celebrated every Sunday and is led by its respected singers. Beyond its devotion to God, this old-fashioned church becomes a center of culture, presenting engaging performances, dramas, book signings, roundtable discussions, and more. The reason to go there? To begin with, St. Mark's choral music is incredibly appealing, providing a unique and thrilling experience. Make sure to check the schedule for any exciting events that bring the English-speaking community of Florence together if you happen to be visiting for a longer period of time. In other words, St. Mark's English Church offers a warm embrace in the center of Florence. Whether you're a music lover, seeking out cultural events, or just trying to make new friends. Number six, our sixth suggestion is to enjoy a sunset visit at Piazzale Michelangelo which is a personal favorite and is perfectly representative of what it means to live in this charming city. Imagine this, a beautiful sunset in prospect, along with a bottle of wine from Chianti and a variety of bread, cheese, and meats. This is an absolute must for anyone visiting Florence and was one of my favorite things to do while I was living there. With its highest point above the city, Piazzale Michelangelo provides the most breathtaking above ground view of Florence. You will be treated to a breathtaking sight as the sun sets, and warm colors spill over the cityscape, particularly as the colors dance behind the famous Duomo. Why should you make this a must watch? Some of the best sunsets on earth can be found in Florence and there's something very special about watching the sky come to life behind the Duomo's appearance. One of the best things about being in this amazing city is that it's an experience that stays with you. Number seven, as our seventh suggestion, let's get away from the busy city and experience the peace of the Fiesole Hills. A delightful example of Italian country life that is easily accessible near public transportation. Florence is undoubtedly beautiful, but Fiesole Hills is the ideal location for those looking for a more relaxed getaway among lovely hillsides. Take public bus number seven, which takes you to the top of this hilltop town with a charming view over the Florence Valley for a quick and appealing ride north of the city. Explore the ancient performance and the San Francesco Monastery, where the monks' rooms hold story from earlier times as you set out on a time travel from the main piazza. Explore the hiking trails of Monte Cesare, the location where Leonardo da Vinci tested his first flying machines, if you're feeling particularly daring. Number eight, let's enjoy the richness of Lardo di Colonnata, one of Florence's most gorgeous salumi experiences for our eighth cuisine delight. What's that? Lardo is a tiny piece of smoked pork fatback that is meant to be wrapped over bread. It is seasoned with a mixture of spicy plants and rosemary as well. This cuisine treasure has a long history, dating back to the Roman Empire and coming from the small Tuscan town of Colonnata. The rich tastes of Lardo di Colonnata express a story of skill and tradition. Imagine the smooth balance of the cured pork combined with the flavorful colors of plants and rosemary, producing a flavor that remains on the tongue. Enjoy it developed over warm, freshly baked bread to transform a plain bite into a delicious masterpiece. Number nine, we're going to explore the tasty world of roast beef con patate al forno for our ninth cuisine adventure. This dish is a delight that perfectly combines flavors that emphasize Florentine's love of beef. What's that? Imagine a premium beef cut like steak or a ribeye that has been skillfully burnt with a variety of seasonings like pepper, garlic, rosemary, a dense crust that keeps the full flavors in. After that, the meat is put in the oven and cooked to perfection, only medium rare, for an appealing and juicy result. The potatoes, which are thick portions cooked until crispy and golden and filled with the flavor of the beef water droplets are now the star of the show. Perfectly cut beef and flavorful golden potatoes come together to create a dining melody that will definitely leave you desire more. Where can we get our best version to try? For a genuine and delightful roast beef with potato al forno experience, visit Trattoria Sabatino. To finish this food processing masterpiece, make sure to order the dry plants from the contorno section of the menu if they aren't already included. Number 10, as we wrap up, let's explore the creative wonders of the Galleria dell'Accademia di Firenze, also known as the Gallery of the Academy of Florence. 
a treasure that stands as proof to the artistic heritage of the city. What's that? The famous sculpture David by Michelangelo is housed in this esteemed Florence, Italy art museum. Beyond this work of art, the gallery is home to an impressive array of Michelangelo sculptures and a wide variety of paintings by Florentine artists, most of which date from the Trecento to the around that time, the Middle Ages. Why leave? The main Florence art museum, the Uffizi, is not as cozy or specialized as the Galleria dell'Accademia. You can see Florence's creativity as you walk through its holy halls, as proven by the creations of Michelangelo and other well-known artists. As our time in Florence brings to an end, I hope these 10 ideas caught your interest and motivated you to go on adventures of your own in this fascinating city. Keep in mind that Florence is a treasure trove of experiences. And even though we've already explored some amazing gems, there are still countless more marvels to be uncovered. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to see more travel guides like this.